Hi guys, welcome back to my small engine repair channel. Today I'm going to show you the top three reasons why push mowers come in my shop with a vibrating problem. So I'm going to get right into this guys. The top reason why I see mowers come in my shop that vibrate is because of a worn out blade or an unbalanced blade. So this mower came in the shop vibrating excessively and if you have a look at the blade here you can see that it's worn out all the edges are missing parts. Here's what a normal blade should look like. You should have nice square edges, not all rounded and uneven. So what this is doing is throwing the blade off balance and that will cause your machine to vibrate. And if your blade ever gets bent like this one here, if you hit something, it will definitely cause your machine to vibrate. And here are some other blades here that may potentially cause some vibrations. You can see the ends are all worn out, some are bent. This one's bent at the edges here. And sometimes if you hit items with your lawnmower, you may also break the blade adapter and this might cause the machine to vibrate as well. So if you do hit something big, always check your blade and check the blade adapter here as well and the crankshaft to make sure it's not bent. And like I just said previously, this is the number one reason why lawnmowers come in my shop that the customer says this machine is vibrating excessively. Now, the second most common reason why I see push mowers come in my shop that vibrate a lot is because of a bent crankshaft. This usually occurs when the lawnmower hits a rock or something blunt and it stops immediately or abruptly. This will cause the shaft to bend in some cases. So here's a mower that came in the shop recently. The customer hit a blunt object. It's got a bent crankshaft. So what I'll do here is pull over the motor because on this one, it's very noticeable. So you can really notice how crooked it is just by looking at it. Sometimes your crankshaft won't be as bent as this one. It might be harder to notice it, but on this one, it's very, very clear, easy to see. And again, if your crankshaft is bent like that, you're going to have excessive vibrations in your lawnmower. Sometimes you can try to straighten it by giving it a dead blow or hitting it with a proper hammer. There is a tool to re-straighten a crankshaft. However, it doesn't always work. Sometimes the best bet for customers is just to buy another mower. So if you've hit something hard with your mower and it hasn't been quite the same since then, you more than likely have a bent crankshaft. Now, the third most common reason why mowers come in my shop that are vibrating is because of a sheared flywheel key. Now, this will happen if you hit a blunt object, kind of like getting a bent crankshaft or a bent lawnmower blade. It's kind of all related, but this will affect how the engine runs and may cause your machine to vibrate or run rough. So for those of you who are not familiar with what a sheared flywheel key is, every lawnmower has a key between the flywheel and the crankshaft. It's a small key that goes in the keyway on the crankshaft to connect the flywheel to the crankshaft. And it's kind of a sacrificial part. So if you hit something hard, the flywheel key will shear. Now this flywheel key here is good. However, if it was sheared, you would see that the notches would not line up. You would notice that the flywheel key is off from the keyway hole on the crankshaft or the flywheel or vice versa. So if you've hit something hard with your mower and it runs rough or it vibrates, you don't need to take the flywheel completely off. Just take the nut off of the crankshaft. Have a look at the flywheel key and see how it lines up with the keyway hole on the crankshaft and the flywheel. So if you see that everything lines up like on this one here, you don't have a sheared flywheel key. If everything is offset, then you do have a sheared flywheel key and you should replace it. The reason why a sheared flywheel key may cause you problems is because it's throwing the ignition timing off and that's why your machine will run poorly, rough and or vibrate. So I do have a video that shows how to replace a sheared flywheel key. The link is in the top right hand corner of your video screen right now if you want to watch that. Follow my step by step video and you should not have a problem to replace it. So those are the most common reasons why I see lawnmowers come in my shop that vibrate. Again, I'll reiterate all three of them. Number one is a worn out blade. It's unbalanced, it's bent. That will cause your machine to vibrate. Number two is a bent crankshaft. 
which can happen if you hit a blunt object and the machine stops abruptly. And the third reason is a sheared flywheel key like I just showed you guys. Again, all these issues can all happen at once. So you could end up with a bent blade, bent crankshaft, and a sheared flywheel key all at once. Sometimes you'll just have a bent blade and you'll be okay. Sometimes you'll just have a bent crankshaft. Sometimes you'll just have a sheared flywheel key, which is easy to repair. If you have a bent crankshaft, then it's a little more difficult sometimes to repair. And sometimes if you have a bent crankshaft, it may not be worth fixing the machine if you have to pay somebody to do it. So again, if you hit something, check all these three items on your machine, and then you can decide if it's worth fixing or not, or if you're able to do it yourself. Thanks again for watching, guys. Hopefully this has helped you to diagnose your vibrating lawnmower. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, guys. Have a great day.